With more than 1,000 recovery planes still waiting to land in earthquake-ravaged Haiti, the commander of U.S. forces in the region says officials have opened a third alternate airport to hasten the movement of relief supplies. A military commander says as many as 140 flights a day are now able to land at the only airport in Port-au-Prince, which was damaged in last week's earthquake. And he says officials have a waiting list of 1,400 flights seeking to get into the country. Some of the supplies en route to Haiti were collected right here on Long Island, as Rebecca Wenner reports. Thomas Miata took time out of his workday to come to the Bethpage Federal Credit Union to drop off blankets and food to send to Haiti. Haiti was devastated last week by a massive earthquake that left the country in shambles. Miata says he has a close friend in Haiti, and that made the disaster feel even more close to home. Uh, it's unbelievable, and we just wanted to be positive for him and all the families that are living there and help out as much as we can. Other Long Island residents say they feel responsibility to help out others during these tough times, whether it's bringing Advil or Band-Aids, and one Long Island resident is even keeping the dogs of Haiti in mind. Everything. Yeah, I brought um, some water and some peanut butter and jelly, macaroni and cheese, and oatmeal. And I also brought dog food, which I thought was a very important thing because I feel as though the dogs are going to be hungry, as well as the people. So, got to take care of everybody. Linda Arman of the Bethpage Federal Credit Union says there are many ways for people to help out and encourages people to keep it simple when donating supplies. Water, blankets, medical emergency needs. So people have been dropping off things like um, hydrogen peroxide, Band-Aid. These supplies are already on their way to Haiti. However, Armin suggests Long Islanders visit the Nassau County government website to find out other ways to help during this mass relief effort. You know, we all inhabit this earth and we all will go through uh, situations where we need other people's help. In Beth Page, Rebecca Wenner, LI News Tonight.